right, and hello. My name's Kawhi Pigeon, and today I'd like to talk about artists and our struggles for recognition. This video is mostly inspired by, and lightly enabled by, my bestie Rocket into talking about the subject next. So what is this video about? It's mostly about artists struggling for attention and getting torn by everyone else in the process. Audiences, other artists, Twitter users, and the like. Anybody who's basically said, you create art for you and not anybody else. And while that may be a bit of aggressive type of response, it's a response that many artists get, from commissioned artists on the small scale to the big scale. And no matter what tone I might use for that, it doesn't take away from the fact that artists thrive on praise and they thrive on money. And when artists don't get that praise, it makes making more art feel pointless. Or when they do get praise, there's this culture, this polite demurring of, oh, it was nothing. It's crediting skills and time to the point where I believe that a lot of people don't get the skill that goes into making an art piece. Oh, this piece didn't take long. Well, crap. Most artists take hours, sometimes days, to finish a piece of artwork. And those who can produce beautiful art in the shortest amount of time, they had to cultivate that skill to get that fast. Years and sweat and tears I go from making a six-hour piece into maybe an hour. I've seen some work that makes me feel tiny in comparison when I compare it to what I can get done in an hour. I know the average person doesn't look at art and see it like an artist. Pretentious or not, most art you see, you see the process when you're an artist. You see the basic shapes an artist chose, and then you're wondering and trying to deconstruct an art piece in your head. And I wish more non-artists would get to watch in real time how some artists do their work, and how we can take hours to even do a background. To see a piece and know an artist poured hours or days of their life into a piece you saw and comprehended in less than a few seconds. But it's just a drawing, it can't be that hard. But Pigeon, I've heard artists say, oh, this was nothing, or this was just a little warm-up doodle. No, shh, shush, shh, no. I want you to look at any artist you criticize for their art, and I challenge you to try to make something better. Just try it and make Try making a comprehensive piece with a special awareness, taking into account shading and volume, taking into account anatomy and color theory. And on top of all of that, know for a fact that the half-assed squiggle will get more attention than the Mona Lisa in compared to effort and time. And art is hard. Most artists are lying to you. And fellow artists, stop humble bragging. I'm guilty of this. You're guilty of this. And we need to stop and say, yeah, this was hard work. That this takes time and it was hard and we are proud of what we, we made. We are proud of what we've accomplished and our outcome of our art. I feel as if this culture of artists humble bragging has led to other people to view art as no biggie. As no biggie? Well, not exactly. Say exactly how long a piece takes, it might be a bit much. I myself like to time my art as an idea of my relative worth and skill, but I'd say most artists should, at least every now and then, time how long it takes for them to make a piece of their average quality. And to say and to put out there, hey, yes, this art piece took five days for two hours every day. Most people acknowledge, at least in real life, that they can't even draw a stick figure, and it's a hard one skill that develops and grows with you, and sometimes regresses if you don't do it for too long, such as when you feel rusty and you need a ton of warm-up sketches into getting into the groove of things. And learning art itself is really hard, and it's never just one thing. You have to be good at anatomy. You have to be good with colors. Can you think in 3D? Because if not, then you have an extra hurdle to jump over. And 
that goes without saying that those with aphantasia, or the inability to visualize imagery, well, they're just extra hardcore artists. A shout out to all the people who struggle with that. You guys are awesome. And I know and I've seen a lot of artists with that, I want to say disability, but I'm not sure. But it's definitely not a buff when it comes to being an artist. And art is hard, not just mentally, but physically. How many of us have fucked up wrists? Have got uh, rich people's diseases like tennis elbow? Or wear braces every now and then because we just work and work and work some more? Because sometimes it's not even actual work. A lot of us will injure ourselves just because we're artists and not creating is sometimes so much more painful than the pins and needles that it's in our wrists. And to go all through all of this, all this work and pain for crickets. Yes, yes we do, because the alternative is not to make art and to not make it and to not share it would feel hollow. And art, while beautiful, doesn't feel appreciated, particularly online. Our real life brethren have art galleries, museums, and those types of places to appreciate them. And even then, it's rather selective. And it's often sad that real life paintings only get their value, usually when an artist has died. Can we talk about Vincent van Gogh for a little bit? Because his example is probably the most depressing. And while he was alive, Vincent had only sold a single painting. Oil painting, but a single one. Just one. Vincent van Gogh is known to have had depression. And while speculation to the cause of that would get us nowhere, I would hazard a guess that being demoralized from such little success would hurt a fair deal. Speculating as an artist myself who accepts commissions at times. But after death, 2,000 paintings of his are valued at thousands of dollars each. By a man who's long dead, who will never see an ounce of adoration, resources, recognition. His art is beloved by millions and he is long dead. And it's a pattern with a lot of old time artists. If you didn't have a patron who then, actually, let me breathe. If you didn't have a patron, then you'll probably live the, door, the dirt poor artist's life. Cease to live and then you get valued for the work you did. But nowadays, does this even happen? Or do dead artists just get their stuff stolen for cryptocurrency or online stores? I'm bitter. I'm bitter on his behalf. And on every artist who has... People have been giving a flying fuck about them only after they died. Like the jackass relatives that cry and weep at a funeral, but didn't care about the deceased when they were alive. Art makes our world more beautiful, better, and in tiny ways that are just plain pretty. Golden Arches and Starbucks are some companies that are maybe questionable, but their logos are beautiful and recognizable. Yes, even the Golden Arches is pretty beautiful. It's just so simple. It's simple, easy to draw, and pretty. And we all make fun of graphic artist designs that ads that are t gaudy, tacky, and point out how horrible they are. But rarely do we praise ads that get it right. Similarly to the Spartan Golfing Company, I believe it's called. There's artists all over the internet of different types with different projects. VTubers that work with modeling and rigging, animation workers, illustrators who work with various art programs, pixel artists, and even meme makers. Everyone deserves their recognition. Each and every one of these artists deserves the praise and admiration their work deserves. A watch, a like, a reblog, a note, or even just share their art. You see, for artists, visibility and praise is our bread and butter. 
It's why sometimes it is worth it to work for exposure, but with an asterisk. If a client's exposure is either massive or art-focused, more eyes means more opportunity for work. Or if that artist were trying to get their work with larger clients, it adds to credibility, as well as a... It's like an added value. Like a popular... I suppose it's our version of Instagram Famous. Like, you have people who recognize you and like, oh, I know that art. I want them more than this person with the same skill talents, but not as recognized. Anyway, this video mostly came about because of this incident on Twitter that I saw uh, of an artist complaining about not, about not getting retweets and people ranging from regular Twitter users to other artists jumping on them and verbally giving them a smackdown. Why? Well, because they were too aggressive and entitled for wanting retweets. And admittedly, yes, they did sound like a jerk. But, but, but somebody can be a total jerk and they can be right. Their grievances weren't wrong. To pour your heart and soul out and nothing happens, you justifiably would get angry. But hey, here comes the tone police. You weren't humble enough, soft enough, and now you'll pay for it, even if you were technically right. This is probably why some artists act so humble or self-deprecate when it comes to our skills. That's in a mix of increasing of their skills, ironically enough, to where they get better at knowing the technical stuff, but their hands still need to catch up. So they see all their mistakes and they feel like, I know I can do better, but my hands won't let me. Okay, and on the single note, it's true that nobody is entitled to attention. Artists, regular people, YouTubers, uh, but a small action you can do to help pick up your fellow artist or your artist friend or that one artist that you see on Twitter or Tumblr or where have you that is feeling really down about the art that they make. It's a small thing to reblog or to comment with an emoji or a smiley face, but it goes a long way. And it's not just for artists, it's when I say artists, I'm talking in a very broad general term from the visual artist to writers to even TikTok and short YouTube short makers. Um, some of them make entire storylines that are much more interesting than Hollywood could ever be in less than five minutes. It's everybody should have their spot in the limelight for the work that they make. And it's easier to encourage artists with, I don't know where I want to go with this. It's this thought that, that an artist's worth can often be very difficult for them to judge. I know I struggle with it and a lot of other artists struggle with it that we get so caught up in numbers and that it's very hard and hurts us to see that we aren't as valuable as we thought we were. Even, uh, it's hard to talk about, especially because you don't want to make your friends think that, oh, there they go again crying for attention. I should just give them a pity reblog or that we want you to give us a pity reblog. We, we don't want to guilt anybody. We don't want anyone to feel bad. It's just this thing where nobody is happy. The artists aren't happy. We feel uninspired. We feel like nobody will see or listen to us or just even look our ways. And it's hard 
to build to build and want that drive to create to look inward instead of just seeing the little numbers count up and get that serotonin from that and it's something that not all of us can do that we can't force ourselves to push past that sad that sad barrier so this video has mostly been me low key complaining but that's what youtube's for isn't it to voice our thoughts our concerns to whoever may listen and i hope that you at least enjoyed my voice i'm told it's very nice and the artwork that was being done in the background i will probably speed up this video just a little bit since at this time it is 16 minutes so let me talk about the art piece that i was working on while making this video it is a art piece on jirachi one of my not my favorite legendary pokemon but it's definitely one of the cutest in my opinion and i had recently discovered that i like working with these watercolor brushes on my clip paint studio program and I thought of making Jirachi much more dramatic. But I think this fits the softer watercolor aesthetic that I was hoping to aim for. Normally my art is very much known for its dynamic shading. So when I do flats like this, it feels empty and a little wrong. But I do think it came out pretty well. And I hope you like my PNG tuber looking thing. I made it myself. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching or for listening. And you have a beautiful day. Goodbye.